My name is Bahin Huzan, an 8th grader at Rosa International Middle School in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Today, I would like to discuss a very serious issue. Air pollution is a clear and present danger, not only to the environment, but the health of most people on the planet. According to the World Health Organization, more than 85% of the Earth's population is exposed to poor air quality. At any time, one can view an air quality map and see that in some areas, such as eastern China and New Delhi, India, the air quality index rockets to 900. That is 18 times the level at which the EPA calls unhealthy. Innocent people are suffering because of a lack of a governmental initiative. Some countries are so focused on economic gain, they forget the health of their own people. We need to think of new ways to shed light on the fact that pollutants are toxic and are choking our neighbors. For those who have already developed chronic respiratory diseases, so much of a difference can be made through advanced warning. Imagine if portable sensors could be deployed that had the ability to sniff out each type of pollutant, map its concentration, and track how it is traveling through the air. This would be an incredible tool to drive policy upwind and help people suffering downwind. Lives not only could be improved, but saved. That is why I have created a comprehensive air quality sensor that enables the user to track air pollution in certain areas. By doing this, they can choose to wear protective equipment in that vicinity, or not go there at all if levels are especially dangerous. The sensor is made of many parts. First. The gas sensor detects multiple gases, including nitrogen dioxide, carbon monoxide, and a set of other hydrocarbons. The dust sensor uses the Tyndall effect to count the amount of dust particles suspended in the air. For example, in a dark room, a beam of light is cast, and the dust particles are easily visible. Within the sensor, this process happens in a standard plumbing tee, fitted with an infrared LED light. The dust sensor inside the tube measures the dust by the intensity of the reflected light. A temperature and humidity sensor was also included because these factors influence the sensor's ability to measure pollutants. The anemometer with a wind vane measures the wind speed and direction, which allows the system to analyze where the pollutants are coming from and where they are going. All the sensors were drawn on CAD and fritzing, so I could plan how to construct a working system. I created a simulation so I could design the algorithms even before I was done building. The simulation also lets me test a full sensor network by releasing simulated particles in a wind field loaded from the National Weather Service. Then a computer program was written for Particle's cloud-connected platform, the Photon, that loops over each of the sensors and uploads periodically to the cloud. Now on the cloud, the readings are readily available for anyone, anywhere. The concept of the cloud is essential because the system's output is an aggregate map of current air pollutants and can be updated right at your home. The function of the sensor is not new but the fact that it is considerably smaller and less expensive makes it something that can be deployed widely. Compared to an academic sensor suite, which can cost up to $10,000 and take up a cabinet, our prototype is estimated to cost around $30 in production and can fit in the palm of your hand. This can truly make the difference in the lives of people. I interviewed Dr. Don DeVoren an expert on how particulates affect asthma and other respiratory diseases. The way we practice uh, as allergists is to predict their allergies. So if we know a patient has mold or allergy to pollen, we know when the pollen is in the air and when the mold is at its highest. So we uh, tell our patients to take their medicine at a higher level or immediately before we see these pollen and mold spore counts rising in the air. So that way we help their, their asthma and their allergies. The same idea can be extended to airborne pollutants. 
If we can anticipate them, then people can take measures to protect themselves. Clearly, this small yet powerful sensor can change lives. Together, step by step, we can improve global health.